here's some little glass salt and pepper shakers. They are missing the top, but I think I'm gonna get them anyway because they'd be some cute little vases just for one little sprig of greenery. I was right, they look absolutely adorable as a vase with just one sprig of greenery. I wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are headed to the Goodwill bins. We're gonna see what we can find, what we can make over, and what we can use as home decor and style it up. I know y'all gonna love today's video, and do not forget, if you wanna come along and see all of my thrifting adventures, make sure you are following me over on my Julie Thrift channel, where I take you thrifting every single day. Here's another cute little glass dish. I think this would look great as a riser and you could put a floral half sphere in it. I think I'm gonna take it home and see what that looks like. I put the glass dish on a stack of books and I'm styling it with different greeneries. This is the Hedge Path half sphere and it fits perfectly in here. This is the Grand Bay half sphere. It's one of my favorite. It has a lamb's ear look and I love how it just comes over the piece. And this is also a favorite. I've been using this one a lot. This is the Little Luna's candle ring. Look how pretty it looks. And I put a candle on top of it. I love the look of this. This Little Luna candle ring has such a vintage feel. Like I told y'all, I love the Grand Bay half sphere. It's just a perfect look for spring and summer. And you can find all of these florals and more on my website, juliesdesignsandsigns.com. This is so cute, super heavy. I bet this is chalkware, but it is all broken up. I don't know. I kind of like it anyway. Like there's a little screw sticking up right there. Maybe I could add a little bit of black. I think this would be so pretty on a stack of books, even broken. I think I'm gonna get it, what y'all think? I could not leave this piece behind. I just had to rescue it. It's not even attached to the base anymore. And when I turned it upside down, I saw it was originally painted this beautiful green color. So I decided to take a little bit of sandpaper and distress that through. I just love all the color variations in this piece. Now for the broken parts, I did want to fix the, well, not fix them, but just kind of hide them, make them a little bit less noticeable right now. They are bright white where it has been chipped and broken. So I'm just taking fusion paint in the color ash and my artist brush. And I'm just gonna touch up those spots just so they're not as bright and not as noticeable. And this color was perfect. It blended in great. I am absolutely obsessed with this little guy and I was right, he does look amazing on a stack of books. I am so glad I rescued him from the Goodwill bins. Oh, here's another rabbit. This one is burlap. I wonder what this rabbit would look like painted. Maybe we should try it. I'm always up for a DIY challenge. So y'all let me know in the comments, y'all think this is going to work out or not. I am using my Stallmaster Pointed Sash brush. It's gonna be perfect for this project because there's lots of details and lots of texture. And I'm gonna be using Dixie Belle chalk paint in the color Yankee Blue. This color is so gorgeous. I just put one quick coat of paint on here. I was not looking for full coverage because I actually want to come back and distress it a little bit. I just think the more color variation I can get on this bunny, the better it will look. And I also distressed a lot where they had that trim that looked a little bit different because I really wanted all of that trim to stand out. I am loving the way that this is looking. I just feel like maybe it needs a little bit of something around its neck. So I just grabbed some lace and tied it around my bunny. I will absolutely not be passing up any more burlap pieces. I love how this looks painted and I absolutely love this Yankee blue color. Ooh, ooh, some little brass little brass candlesticks we need those 
These were not brass, they were actually plastic. So I decided to give them a paint job. I'm using a fusion paint in the color Lichen, which is an absolutely gorgeous green color. This is a slick surface, but fusion paint pretty much sticks to everything and has a built-in sealer. Then I went through my DIY stash and found these little wood coasters. They are the perfect size to put on top of the little candlestick. So I added a little bit of hot glue and this was such a quick, easy, simple project. I absolutely love how the color Lichen looks with wood. It is the perfect combination. And now I have some cute little risers to display my bird figurine collection. What is this? Is that supposed to be a bathtub? Might be a soap holder, $1.99. It's cute though, made in Japan. It has a swirl pattern. I think I need this. I did need it and I am keeping it. I styled it in this vignette in my bathroom with a handmade bar of soap that I wrapped in jute twine and some greenery and I'm obsessed, love this so much. Hey guys, I just wanna take a quick minute to tell y'all about today's sponsor, Squarespace, which is an all-in-one website platform. It's who I have had my website with for two years and I can tell you it is the best business decision that I have ever made. So if starting a website in 2024 is on your to-do list, you definitely want to check them out. It is so user-friendly, so it is great for beginners, but it also has all of these features that are perfect for a growing online business. When I started my website, it was very small. I only had one tab, but as I grew, Squarespace made it very easy and had everything that I needed. It was easy to add pages, digital downloads, even subscription products. So if you think that you are ready to launch your own website, head to squarespace.com slash Julie's Designs and Signs and you use code Julie's Designs and Signs to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain and I will have everything linked in the description for y'all. Ooh, y'all, look what I just found. Not just sofa legs, but giant sofa legs. Actually, I think I have some cloches at home that might fit on top of these. This is an awesome find. Y'all, look how perfectly this glass cloche I had in my stash fits on top of this wood piece. I do wanna paint this piece and I'm thinking a chippy milk paint finish will be perfect. But first I want to darken the top. So I'm just taking a fusion paint in the color chocolate and my fusion mister and I'm just gonna do a dark chocolate wash on here. That way all of the wood tones underneath the chippy paint will kind of be the same. I'm thinking London Fog. It is a beautiful off-white milk paint. If you haven't used milk paint before, you mix half milk paint, it comes in a powder form, and half water and mix it together really well. And then you just paint it on your piece like you would any other paint. Now on my last coat of paint, I like to take out my heat gun and apply the paint and then dry it with the heat gun. What happens is, is it usually makes the milk paint crack. It gives it lots of texture. I just love the way that looks. But milk paint is unpredictable and it reacts different on every single piece. And on this piece, I actually did not get a lot of crackle, but I did get a ton of texture. So even though it didn't crack, I do love the way that this came out. Since the milk paint only gave me texture and I'm not really seeing any of that wood coming through, I'm gonna take some sandpaper and I'm also gonna take a baby wipe and I'm gonna distress this piece. And this gave me a, a look that I really love. Lots of texture and a little bit of wood coming through. Last step is to seal this piece up because you definitely need to seal in your milk paint. I'm using a Dixie Belle sealer in a flat finish. 
Y'all, this is my new favorite sealer because my problem with sealers is I have a piece that I like and then you put the sealer on and it changes the finish or it changes the color and the Dixie Belle flat does not do that. It doesn't change your color and it absolutely has a flat finish like it says. There's so many sealers that I tried that said matte are flat and they are not but this one is so i definitely highly recommend it if y'all want to check it out it is available on my website i can't believe how perfectly this cloche fit on top of the wood base and even though i didn't get the chippy finish i had imagined i can always count on milk paint for some amazing texture here's some china up here it's a blue and white pattern Linux China Stone Country Blue. It's really pretty. They have these two little pieces right here and these little saucers, a little stack of them. I'm tempted to get these. They'd be cute little trinket trays. You could even put some floral in here. I want to take those two ceramic bowls and actually combine them with these wood pieces to create something special for my own home. The first thing I need to do is paint the entire base. I'm going to be using fusion paint in the color raw silk. It is a beautiful off-white color that is going to just match not only with my home but also with the bowls. Fusion paint does have a built-in sealer so you can just paint it and you can be done but if you love distressing stuff don't worry you can still distress your fusion all-in-one paint you just have to do it with sandpaper you cannot wet distress it so I'm just going to sand it and just bring back a little bit of that wood color on the edges. I want to add some words to my piece I'm going to be using IOD's apothecary label stamp you get so many fonts with this one and also some little tags and some little labels so I'm spelling out the word water have y'all figured out yet what I am making for my home and I'm also using IOD's alpha belly stamp just to put some little decorative pieces at the end of the word and then I'm taking my thin mount I'm going to pick it up you definitely want a thin mount with these apothecary label stamps because they're small you won't be able to pick them up with your hand so you really need that thin mount um, to help you and then I'm taking IOD's ink in the color stone gray and I'm going to carefully stamp this rounded surface it's always tricky stamping around its surface but I feel like I've gotten pretty good at it and then for the second one I'm going to stamp the word food these bowls fit so perfectly on here look at that now i don't want to permanently attach them i want the option to take them off later but i do want them to stay in place because i don't want i'm making a cat food bowl if y'all if y'all haven't been able to tell i don't want a cat knocking them over so i'm gonna hot glue them that way you know they'll stay in place but i can remove them later on if i want to this was a current cat food bowl which was fine but this is just so much better i liked how these pieces fit perfectly together i love how the stamps came out but the question is does the cat like it let's see i think she does or she just likes her food not sure either way it looks cute in my house now Ooh, here's a cute little plate right here it has lots of staining on it it has I think it's marked Lynchburg Germany that's adorable we need that okay. I love picking up these little decorative plates and adding them to my shelves and my vignettes so definitely be on the lookout for one that goes with your decor style to add into your home okay I kind of do like this lamp at it it's like a piece of pottery kind of like a urn vase situation it's actually a really pretty color it's kind of like a mossy green with a little bit of white coming through if I bought and sold lamps I would definitely get this I think it's really pretty look at all that texture right here do I need a lamp we all know the answer to that I do not need a lamp but this one's really pretty 
So I ended up bringing the lamp home, but I feel like it was the right decision. It looks so good in my living room. The color and the texture is absolutely perfect. I just need to be on the lookout for a lampshade for it. And the lamp does work. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. Drop a comment below. Let me know what was your favorite project. I think mine was probably the cute little Scotty dog. I just love the way he came out. Now, I don't know if I'm going to start rescuing everything with chips and cracks, but I feel like some stuff, the chips and the cracks just add to it. And that was one of those pieces. He just needed a few little touch-ups to give him a new life. And mm, I don't know if I'm going to be selling him. I might keep him. I truly just love that piece so much. But y'all, let me know what y'all favorite is. And also, hold on. I want to show y'all the May colors of the month because I have those picked out. Let me go grab them. I'll be right back. All right, here are the May colors of the month. And if you don't know what the colors of the month club is, it's $28 a month. That includes shipping and you get four fusion paint samples shipped straight to your door. It's a great way to try all of the amazing fusion colors. And honestly, one of these little bottles will actually paint a whole lot. So let me show y'all the colors for May. We have Midnight Blue, which is an absolutely gorgeous blue. We have Peony, a beautiful soft pink. I've actually used this color in Ren's room casement it is a nice bright white for summer and spring and then this beautiful green color called carriage house now if you are also interested in fusion milk paint i got the milk paint plus colors of the month club where you get those four fusion samples and you also get two milk paints y'all this month we have lavender a beautiful purple that's going to be great and also a nice beautiful blue this is solstice blue so if you're interested in joining either of those subscriptions i will leave a link to that in the description for y'all and don't forget that if you would like to start your own website y'all go check out squarespace.com slash julie's designs and signs and squarespace is giving my viewers 10 percent off and i will also have that link in the description for y'all Y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all next week for another DIY video.